Hey everybody, here I am again with another review of one of my favorite documentaries. Uh, before I get into that, I've been trying to avoid doing reviews for a while uh, because I noticed that I keep getting copyright claims that I know that while a copyright claim doesn't negatively affect your channel too much, it can somewhat affect it still being seen and being promoted. But I just keep getting copyright claims and I've tr been trying to avoid them, but hopefully I don't get one on this video. If I do, shit, fuck it. But I really wanted to, um, really want to promote this documentary that I've always loved and really, really has made a huge impact on my life and the fact that I actually do want to make documentaries like this one day. The film is, the documentary is called Restrepo, directed by Sebastian Younger and a British photojournalist named Tim Hetherington. Uh, they are embedded with the 2nd Platoon B Company, 2nd Battalion, 503rd Infantry Regiment, 173rd Airborne Brigade Combat Team of the U.S. Army in the Korngal Valley back in May of 2007. And they're just in this 15-month de this, uh, uh, deployment with these soldiers, these U.S. Army soldiers for, for a couple months, like I said, 15 months in this really isolated combat outpost out in the middle of nowhere in Cor in 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 the Korngal Valley in Afghanistan just surrounded by Taliban and Afghan civilians and it the name of Restrepo is actually named after per private first class Juan Sebastian Restrepo who sadly was killed in a firefight there in that valley and they decided to name the combat outpost OP Restrepo after him and really in the documentary we see Sebastian Younger and Tim Hetherington just documenting the day-to-day -day routine of these soldiers having put up with all this fucking bullshit of being in Afghanistan having to be at this base having have to deal with the Afghan civilians and having to deal with the Taliban constantly shooting at them attacking them and we see this throughout the documentary and that's what I just love about it it's just very straightforward it's not it's not like pro US Army kind of propaganda that you see in other kind of documentaries of, but it is really just it really just captures the reality of the soldiers that's all it does and it's fantastic in that way because you see how these soldiers who are normal dudes cool cool guys being interviewed the really you just normal average Joes you know you know some guy you, you would hang out with having to put up with all this shit in Afghanistan, having to be isolated on this base, being shot at constantly, 24 fucking seven, you know? And it's all documented. In the beginning half of the documentary, we see how they have to, uh, they have to be, you know, resupplied by helicopters. They have to, you know, patrol the exterior of the base. They have to like clean up, do all this routine shit at this base and they're just, and while they're doing this, while they're bored out of their minds doing this, they also have to worry about the ever-present threat of the Taliban constantly shooting at them. They're in firefights after one and the one after another. They're constantly in firefights. In the second half of the documentary, they're part of this. The soldiers of this outpost and another outpost are part of this operation called Operation Rock Avalanche. And what it, what the basically the the operation was to do was to extend the territory of the u.s army soldiers because here they're in the middle of this valley and they only they only have you know that base and that's about it so they want to extend their reach and they want to kind of push the taliban make contact with them and say hey this is our fucking valley and in that operation we see that they get ambushed they get shot at and they get into really huge firefights and sadly on camera we see one of their soldiers uh, die and it's really sad it's really sad but that's what war is and it's amazing how Sebastian just is so you know he, he's so effective at just capturing all this stuff and Tim Hetherington is amazing as well. The sad fact about Tim is that after this documentary came out in 2011, he went to Libya during that revolution and he died there. He was killed by a mortar during the fighting around the, um, the city of Sirte when, they were, when that city was under siege, which is fucking sad. And another guy who's actually famous, I'm gonna put his name up now, 
He was famous for being a photojournalist as well, going around the world, the war zones, and capturing great image, uh, images and video and stuff like that. And they both were killed. And it's really fucking sad because that's it. Just shows you how dangerous this fucking job is. You can't. It's not. It's not some. You know, it's not some normal shit. You're just you're out there documenting, and you're getting shot at, and you have nothing uh, to protect yourself. You just have your camera. And that's what's so fantastic about this documentary. And I and I have a lot of respect for Sebastian Younger because I've seen him on the Joe Rogan podcast. I've seen lectures of him talking, and he just seems like a really smart, insightful dude. And it's just amazing the shit he has to go, he went through and how he came out the other side. One of the interesting things I wanted to bring this up was I actually was able to uh, contact one of the soldiers who was in this documentary. His name was Brendan O'Byrne. I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly, but I was able to send him a friend request on Facebook. I think he, I think he deleted my, <laughs> de- deleted me off his friend friend list. But for a while, I was I was his friend, and I actually messaged him on there, and that was pretty freaking cool. I'm gonna see if I can like talk to him ever again. But yeah, that was actually pretty fucking tight talking to him because he, it, like in the documentary and all the interviews with him, he just seems like a really cool guy. And uh, and I messaged him, and he, he he was a cool guy and stuff like that. But really, that's how it is with most of the soldiers. They're, these dudes are professionals, but they're also really cool dudes who have to put up with all this shit, have to be in Afghanistan, and have to do all this stuff. And that's what I really love about it. Uh, again, I'm going to repeat myself. It's not like pro- it's not U.S. Pro- uh, Army propaganda. It's just they're capturing the war as it is in Afghanistan. And it's just fantastic in that way. So, please, please watch it. This is one of my favorite documentaries of all time. So, thank you guys, and I hope everybody has a fantastic uh, day. Thank you. Bye-bye.